What's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I actually picked up Anastasia's new collaboration with an OG Amrezi. I'm super excited to get my hands on this palette. Um, with Valentine's Day also coming around, I wanted to do maybe a couple of makeup tutorials this upcoming month um, just to give you guys ideas of potential looks to do. I actually filmed with this last night. You guys are about to see the tutorial that I filmed. Um, so I played around with it a little bit. So I'm here to talk to you guys this morning about what I thought about the palette and fallout and just take a look at the colors and all that fun stuff. So first of all, I love the packaging. I love the color. This is like one of my favorite shades of pink Ever. I love the pink. I love the rose gold. When Amrezi did a collaboration with Anastasia with the highlighter, that was literally my like my favorite highlighter for years. I still have the product. I'm just trying not to really use it because it's literally almost gone and it's like, I don't know, it's just like one of those things where I got it when I really first started playing with my makeup, so it's kind of like a nostalgic thing. Um, so I'm trying to hold on to it and use different highlighters. So I was so excited when I saw that she was collabing with Anastasia again. Besides the Unicartan, I absolutely love it. I actually tend to keep these Unicartans to keep the packaging um, decent, <laughs> but... When I pulled it out last night, I couldn't even <gasps> look at how... Oh my gosh, I'm hoping my camera is doing justice. But it is so gorgeous. It is like a textured glitter. There is no like sealant over it or anything. Like it doesn't have that smooth texture. You can hear. <laughs> you can hear. But the thing, the cool thing is it's not like no glitter is coming off of it. Like... I'm not getting any glitter. Well, like, one, a couple little tiny specks, but it's not like, like, nothing's falling onto my black pants. <laughs> um, I absolutely love the packaging. This is different from any Anastasia packaging. I have most of Anastasia's palettes. I think that I'm missing, like, Jackie Ina's. <sighs> I'm missing a couple of them. My most recent one was the Carly Bybel one, which I still want to do more future looks on. But I don't know. It's kind of like it's kind of like the naked palettes. Like I like collecting them. Even the naked palettes, I've kind of fallen off. Like I don't have Reloaded. I don't have the Honey one, which I want so bad. <laughs> But the, I've mentioned before, not only do I enjoy playing with makeup and putting it on my face, but I also really enjoy collecting it as well. So this is stunning. So let's open it up and take a look at the colors. So as I said, I did pre-film the tutorial, so you will see that some of the colors are touched. But you guys, sometimes I get palettes and I look at it and I'm like, there's no way that I'm going to use that color. It's just not my thing. I don't know how to use it. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I do this um, in my own spare time for creativity reasons. But when I saw this palette, I was like, yes. <laughs> now, I will say granted, like I have a million and a half blacks. <laughs> <laughs> but I do appreciate when palettes come with the blacks as well, so I don't have to rummage to get a single eyeshadow. Um, so I'm not mad that it comes with a black, but it does come with a bunch of really nice... Let me see if I can show you guys a little closer. It does come with a variety of really nice matte neutral colors, but then you can see the top row, and then there's like a hot pink on the bottom that I use today as well. Um, like this blue called Leo, I'm dying for Gemini, which I'm a Gemini, is gorgeous. I can appreciate, oh my gosh, I just watched Gemini real quick. So that, the Gemini one isn't like creamy, it's kind of like a glitter topper, but it's so gorgeous. I want to swatch Leo. Oh, this one is creamy. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's like this cobalt blue. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I want to use that one so bad in my next tutorial. They have Cupcake, which I used today, which is like a really nice um, metallic-y purple. Oh my gosh. So Gemini, and it looks like maybe Liddy, are kind of like those pressed glitters. 
Yeah, Liddy is kind of more of like a copper glitter where Gemini is more gold, like an old gold. The makeup that I'm wearing right now is not the tutorial that you're about to see. I just got ready for work this morning, but I used Semza, I used OG, I used Wasted, which was beautiful. This was one of my favorite colors in the palette. It is so creamy and it's just like a nice light pink. I, I used BK, which was the black, and it was a super nice black. It blended really well. Sometimes I'll get blacks and they're like super duper patchy and black is the last color that I want to keep layering and layering and layering because it can get really muddy um, so I had no problems with blending the black I'm obsessed with this palette and honestly like there are some palettes that I'll buy because I really do love the colors but then like I'll bring it home and I don't use it as much as I thought I would but this one like you can create so many looks you can either use it as your everyday with just the neutral colors and then like maybe applying wasted all over your lid um, or you can do more colorful looks like I'm planning on doing with this palette so I'm super excited to have this in my collection and I'm really excited to show you guys the makeup look that we came up with today it also did come with it fell out last night but I made sure that I grabbed it oh my hair is on it hello hello hair you need to get off my brush please it does come with the um, Anastasia brush that I feel like every Anastasia a palette comes with but again I'm not mad I actually really like this brush I didn't use it specifically for my tutorial tutorial but I have like five or six of these brushes now and I even used it today like doing my makeup so just because I didn't use it in the tutorial um, it is a really really great brush so I'm always excited to get um, one of those one side is like a fluffy crease brush while the other side is it's not super dense but it is a flat shader brush so I can always appreciate those coming with new brushes so with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial <laughs> with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this upcoming tutorial let me know what you thought on my community tab I love Valentine's Day for some reason it's one of my favorite holidays I don't know what I'm specifically wearing for the holiday or what I'm doing to be honest because I would have just kind of given birth <laughs> um, but regardless I had a lot of fun playing with this palette and I hope you guys have a lot of fun watching how I got this look so I'm gonna pick up the color Semsa on a little fluffy crease brush I take my time building up the color and slowly blending up toward my brow bone I also pack this color on my outer third of my lid as well as dragging it down to my lower lash line about three quarters of the way in on the same brush, I'm picking up the shade called OG, and I'm just gonna sweep this right where Semza ended just to give myself a nice transition. Using a NYX Pro Concealer, I'm gonna use this to cut my crease. I first apply it all over my lid, but then I kinda use a patting motion, and I also found that this kinda helps the concealer get tacky. On a flat shader brush, I'm picking up Wasted, and I'm packing this all over the concealer. Picking up my NYX Faux White Liner in this pretty lavender color, I'm just going to line my waterline and my inner corner. And then going into Wasted again on a smaller detail brush, I'm just patting this into my inner corner right over the eyeliner. I have this tiny little angled brush I'm going to use to go back into Semza just so I can add a little point to my inner corner. I adore this color called Barb. On the same flat shader brush, I'm picking this up and I'm packing it on my lid kind of at an angle. Then same thing with the color Cupcake, but I'm just not bringing it up as high as I did Barb. Then picking up Resi, which is another beautifully pigmented color. I'm following the same pattern, just once again, just not blending it up as high. So that way you're able to see each layer underneath the last. I really wanted to glam up today's look, so I'm taking BK, which is their matte black shade, and first starting to pack this into my outer V, and then slowly working it into the same sort of angled shade, smoking it out against my lash line. Then using my black matte liquid liner, I'm just lining right up against my lashes. Most of the fallout that came from this palette were from the glittery shades. I really didn't have any trouble with the mattes. I'm adding two coats of mascara to my top and my bottom lashes using L'Oreal's Telescopic and then gluing on a pair of my Batty B lashes in the style called Saucy. 
I've still been loving this Wet n Wild bronzer. It's a drugstore bronzer, but I think it works really, really well. Dropped it a couple times and that's why it's missing a big chunk. For blush today, I'm actually using Regina George from Jeffree Star's Highlighter Palette. I just like how bright pink it is. And it's not super opaque like a regular blush, and that's why I really liked using it on my cheeks today. For my lips today, I'm using Jeffree Star's Nude Bundle, and I'm combining Birthday Suit along with I'm Nude in the center. And to finish off the look, I'm adding a little bit of highlighter from in my Morphe palette. So that was today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you really soon. Call me